resources for those that would like to help collaborate with us uh, with developing this new program. Um, it will also include dates for upcoming events, et cetera. Um, we've discussed on many occasions holding professional developments for all of our stakeholders. That even includes our mentor teachers and school principals that may not be on our committee. Um, and then we're, we're using our the computer science standards to help us guide and guide us through this implementation of our new program. So that leads us to implementation. So we're going to um, continue for the second part, um, part 2A of the grant to work with our partners on the boot up uh, program and Prince George's County is focusing on the elementary level at this point um, with that grant. And then the next part will be the grant 2B, which will focus on the Bowie State folks and the stakeholder and our other stakeholders. And then the third part of the second grant will focus on secondary, especially middle schoolers. Um, we did create a draft website and this is a screenshot of the beginning of our website. So we're working on building that. So within our Bowie State University website, you'll be able to see our computer science and education and all of the things that we're doing with that. We're working with our methods course instructors to integrate the CS into the courses so that there'll be some practical application. We're going to, of course, continue professional development for our faculty, for our mentor teachers, for our principals. Um, we recognize that there's a lot of professional development that needs to happen in order to successfully implement this. Um, and then we're also working on completing a program of study for a Bachelor of Science in Computer um, Science. And then we're gonna solidify our vision and mission, which at the beginning you saw our draft, but we plan to uh, solidify that. And then we're gonna continue to view the standards and review the standards to make sure that we know what we're looking for. And then also an implementation we have um, from a few weeks ago when we did um, a lesson plan for these workshops. So this is our sample of our lesson plan. We focused on the computer science standard for grade four about describing the internal and external parts of computing devices. And we connected that to um, the structure of the body and the different um, systems. Like, so we focused in this case on the nervous system and how we can compare computers parts to our nervous system parts and how computer functions. So these are just parts of our lesson plan. We recognize that um, as we go, we'll go back and, um, excuse me for lack of a better term, beef up the lesson plan a little bit with a little bit more computer um, terminology as we have our professional development and become more efficient in that application. And so when we start talking about um, our, the application of our work, um, at our middle school level, we're already um, experiencing some work with um, computational thinking um, all of the students in the eighth grade um, participate in the computer science discoveries, which is the from code.org's um, online material. Um, they do that as a semester in eighth grade. And additionally, at, at our PDS um, middle school, the, the students, we're an IB World School, so our students take design courses. And one of the design courses that we offer is um, Startup Tech, which is a course as part of the um, NIFTY, the um, National Foundation for Teaching Entrepreneurship. And it's based using um, MIT's app developer. And so it dovetails computational thinking with our need to have students work on service and giving service to the community. So it's a problem-based um, curriculum where students find a problem in the community they wanna work on. And then they design an app using app developer, app inventor to create the solution and then it gets to presentation. So if you see the three slides here, this is some students, these are the apps that students have been doing. So a couple of them being tested on the, the um, Android devices. And then the third screen is them actually um, coding on the, the app, on app, on app Inventor. If you go to the next slides, you'll start to see their presentation. So this is the end of the semester when students have been working and have created their apps. So now they're presenting their, their findings and their solutions in like kind of almost like a science fair type process with, um, with an audience of their peers and others. So you can see the students um, sharing their, their work um, at, the end of the, at the end of the course. And we've only been doing it for a couple of years, but our students are, are developing and working on these apps over a long-term period. 
and they're actually working on like writing business plans now. So they're actually taking the app from, from idea to fruition. So that's kind of what we want to see our students doing is, you know, finding a problem, working through solutions, sharing those solutions with other people, and then refining it as they go. And so our mastery level is to complete grant three. And the other thing we also want to be able to do is to write a uh, computer science education piece for endorsement for uh, those teachers who uh, want to continue in computer science or do some work in computer science. We want to, of course, uh, continue to update our website, which is really, really important for us, uh, that we look at the number of hits and make sure that the website meets the needs of our PDS, as well as our faculty, as well as our pre-service candidates. Um, we are also looking at um, what kind of incentives can we actually bring to the university to get our students to come into the computer science education program and make sure they stay in education and not go out into other uh, areas of computer science, but to make sure they stay in, in the districts, in the school districts. And also, uh, we're looking at, um, at the, the university level, we definitely have to be able to integrate this computational thinking and what we do in computer science education in the education courses very early, like in Education 101 and 201. So that would be when we are in the mastery level. And these are just some of the ongoing resources that we've used, um, most of them we've gotten from these sessions. And then this is our projected timeline. And that's the end. And then we want to show you some pieces of our website. So I'm going to stop sharing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Our website, Computer Science and Education, our mission to promote a computer science, computational thinking and teaching culture through collaboration, teaching computer science fundamentals. When we take a look at the vision, and our vision should certainly precede the mission, this is certainly a, a work. Um, in draft form. However, the vision statement to become an exemplar first class university in teaching computational science, <laughs> computational thinking, science fundamentals in undergraduate and graduate programs. Oh, sorry. I am sorry. <laughs> um, PDS partnerships. Um, it's professional development schools is a collaboratively planned and implemented partnership for the academic and clinical preparation of interns and the continuous professional development of both schools, system, and institution of a higher education. I'm not going to read the whole thing, but this was taken directly from our state manual. And as you can see, um, I, we also included, and I can't get to it, <laughs> we also included our partnerships. We have one school from Anne Arundel County, that's Crofton Middle Elementary, and the rest happens to be Prince George's County. Northview, Malton, Oakland, Tulip Grove, Vanceville, and Whitehall Elementary. We have two secondaries. One is present right now, which happens to be Steve, with the Dwight Eisenhower Middle School, and we also have Booty High School. And those are our secondary, excuse me, our partnership schools that we deal with 
within State University. And I think we have the logo as well for to show the partnership. Mm -hmm. And we thought that was important to have that on the website. Okay, program overview. Daryl, you're taking that one or Khan? Daryl? In our program model, okay, what type of program are you creating in your institution? It's essential that you focus on perhaps the question, how does it align with or how was it influenced by local, um, we're looking at partner schools, um, but also what challenges are you anticipating in the approval process? We have a guiding team. What does your guiding team look like? Who is on it? What skills do they bring? And what motivates them about CS? What gaps do you need to fill? Thank you, Sarah. Okay. And thank you, Dr. Connie. I'm sorry I was on mute. Right. Um, <clears throat> I can transition into the next section, connection to K-12 computer science. Um, <clears throat> here we just uh, look at plans for elementary and secondary. Um, we state the uh, state standards as well as the computer science standards and uh, how they align with the curriculum. And we give uh, sample activities of uh, things that have worked for those particular plans. Um, if you stroll down, um, you have the children's literature, um, which is uh, also associated with our early childhood. And um, it basically um, goes into the same thing as the uh, elementary and the uh, secondary education, just in its own form. Um, Moving on to our resources, which is a, another page that we have um, that's broken up into four sections. Um, as you see, we have a sample uh, lesson plans, um, which uh, shows our work and um, gives a, an example of what it will look like um, for our uh, students and as well as, as a resource for anyone to um, refer to. We also identify the um, Maryland state standards and, and what they are. And that will be noted in that particular section. We will identify those and make sure that they're, there you go, um, make sure that they're available to refer back to. Our next section is the practice section. Um, these are gonna be the um, best practices that we see are pertinent to the program. Um, and uh, as you see there, um, we have the um, effective uh, teaching domains, uh, those categories. And at the top there, if you scroll to the top, please, um, there's a little video um, that we uh, borrow from one of the uh, resources that we use um, that um, people will be able to view. Last and not least, we have the computer science standards actually listed back at the um, home page, not home page, I'm sorry, resource page. Mm -hmm. And there, um, they were outlined just like the Maryland State standards, it would be the computer science standards um, as well. And those are the four sections that makes up our resource section. Our next page, we will have the project team members. And Sarah, did you want to speak on that? Oh, unfortunately, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. We have the um, sorry, project team members. We have it broken up into um, four sections. We have the faculty members, which again, this is a work in progress. We plan to have their main professional title and their team um, applicable and what they do on the team. Uh, let's see, go back to, it's hard maneuvering this when you, <laughs> okay, come on. And then we have, let me just go back. 
we have the supervisor and coordinators is, is still a work in progress. We have the methods professors and we started out a uh, picture, picture of Darn. <laughs> and um, we also have Dr. Long as the um, methods teachers for the year long intern phase, another professor, Dr. Um, Yvonne Crawford. We have a teacher from Tulip Grove Elementary School teaching the methods of, sci of teaching science. And then we have another lady at Northview Elementary that teach the methods of reading and also the assessment and reading course that the interns must take. So these are the co courses of the size observing in their schools that they must take. All right. Um, I think see what else. We have it broken down the teachers, mm -hmm. but um, we haven't yet done that. And there's one area. Okay. Then we have the um, sorry, the interns. Yes, the interns would be in there with the teachers. Um, okay. And we'll divide that up uh, with uh, identifying who they are once they click on that link. Right. And thank you. And basically, we have a chart that, again, we are going to include, um, which is for our phase two students, where they are placed, as well as the grade level, the major, and the supervisor's name. Um, just to give you a quick look, our phase one, we're still working with the PDS site in regards to placement of teachers. And we have, we're expecting five to eight MAT students. We have a group of, we call them C students, but they're graduate teachers who are in the program taking courses um, to come, to become into special ed, to work in special ed. And then here are our numbers real quick, and I did this right before. Right now we have 56. Now this is mindful that we probably will have about 85 practicum students as well for the field placement unit that we must contain as well. And I think that may be it for the website. Uh, we have one more section where we, we identified um, us as a team. Um, and we broke that down into two uh, particular groups. Um, we have the uh, members from Bowie State University. And then we also have the um, partnerships like uh, PG County uh, Public Schools as well. And I believe if you click on that link, it will take you to that, uh, Which Sarah. Which one? Not the that one. Is it not Lincoln? No, it's not Lincoln. It's okay. Not. Um, it's Lincoln on mine, but it might not have updated yet, but it is there. But again, it's a work in progress. So mm -hmm. um, next time we visit, I'll make sure that it's updated. Loading. Okay. Oops. Sorry, Bon. You keep coming up that way. Okay. Um, and I think. You. Okay. There you go. Mm -hmm. I knew it was another way to find it. Yeah. Okay. All right. So that's our presentation for the website. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you. And I just want yeah. to say that this uh, great, great job team. Um, this has been a great experience for me. Uh, in working with um, many of our colleagues from the PDS site and um, my colleagues right there at home, uh, Dr. Hoda El Saeed, who is from the computer, uh, computer science uh, program. Um, she could not be, she's actually in Egypt and they are six hours ahead of time. So she made our three o'clock meeting, but she couldn't make this uh, presentation this, this evening. So uh, all of this, just being able, uh, I, I love that uh, we have Ivy and Tim and Renee with us that really guided us through many of some of the challenges that we were kind of feeling and wasn't sure about. So I really appreciate their support and uh, Ms. Uh, Renee uh, calling her all times of the day and evening. <laughs> to do the best we could. So I just appreciate 
everybody who, and uh, Jennifer, thank you because uh, your resources were phenomenal um, because I don't think we knew how to gather some of that stuff, but uh, that was really, really great. And um, uh, you sharing with us, that was really, really important for us. And Diane, I can't say how much uh, we appreciate you for bringing us on board with this. This is phenomenal. We're going to stick with it. You're going to have, we're, we're going to get some computer science education majors graduated. We're mm -hmm. going <laughs> to get that. We're going to get there. So thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.